Unbelievable that up to 75% of gross vehicle profit could come from dealer finance offices, even in this heavily overinflated car market. And keep in mind that products in dealer F&I do nothing to boost the value of your vehicle. What you do for sure get is a car loan that is substantially bigger than when you went into finance. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with Amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Well, Kevin, while it seems unbelievable that finance office profits could be that large of a percentage of the car deal, that's exactly what this headline at Automotive News indicates. And it reads, Digital retail could hurt dealer F&I revenue and follows with a public admittal by a dealer from Salt Lake City. Tim Dolly Nissan Southtown near Salt Lake City says 75% of vehicle gross profit is generated from F&I sales. Given where car prices are at, 75% of profits in finance does seem extraordinary and not in a good way for consumers. The caption under this picture reads, Dealerships could leave F&I money on the table without face-to-face -face talks with customers. More specifically, without the common face-to-face -face pressures that finance officers put on the prospective buyers. No doubt that's exactly what it is. As a clear sign that the current dealership model is crumbling, Digital retail platforms have mushroomed as car shopping steers to online interactions. But as this article states, the trend could stall a profit engine for auto dealerships, finance, and insurance income. Tyler Slade, operating partner at the suburban Salt Lake City store known as Tim Dolly Nissan Southtown, about 70% of in-store car sales carry an extended service agreement. But, he added, we're not even half that on vehicle sales via the Nissan at Home digital platform, Slade told Automotive News. I'd say if you think more online customers should be buying the warranty, do a better job of selling it. Use video produced by the finance office. No customer would complain about having to watch that. That's interesting, Liz. Extended service agreements are becoming more and more common, and among the companies dealers are peddling are companies like Warranty Solutions. Our friend Howard bought one of these agreements from Dave Smith of Idaho a few years ago when he bought his Ram truck, paying $3,298 bucks for a policy provided by a company with a very low 1.5 star rating and customer reviews. Ooh. Turns out that the chief complaints are failure to pay. <laughs> Howard is actually back there in Idaho right now buying another vehicle, but this time there will be no warranty being purchased. We wrote a cancellation letter for Howard on the policies he bought on the previous trip. So maybe we'll have to bring him on the show to discuss how it went this time and if he got a nice chunk of his money back. By the way, the previous deal was in July of 2019. And besides the warranty add-ons, that was a pretty clean car contract. No huge list of dealer fees charged. I thought it was pretty amazing. That is amazing. Nissan's digital tool for car buying launched in 2021 allowing customers to shop for vehicles, schedule test drives, complete purchase paperwork, and take delivery, all without stepping inside a brick-and-mortar store. Slade, who is also Nissan National Dealer Advisory Board Chairman, echoes an industry-wide concern that dealerships could leave F&I money on the table without face-to-face -face discussions with the customer. He says, It's easier for customers to click away or decline F&I products online than when they're in the store. Hallelujah. The customer is not getting a good presentation of extended warranties or gap insurance or any of the products that we typically sell in person where an F&I manager can help them understand why they need it, said Slade. It's harder for customers to see value when it's just on a screen. He says a hit to the F&I business can crush dealership profitability. Slade continued, Most dealers in the United States do not make nearly enough money on the front end of a new vehicle to pay the bills. If we don't maintain our F&I per car average, our profitability is done. Slade restated that 75% of his store's vehicle gross profit comes from F&I sales. He added, if we don't figure this out profitably, dealers will not embrace digital retailing. The truth is that we aren't against dealers offering products in their finance office, but we are against dealers selling consumers and our friends warranties and agreements like the one Dave Smith sold to Howard. The warranty is so bad it's hardly worth the paper it's typed up on. If a dealer wants to sell a good product for a reasonable price and it's a good fit for the customer, we say go for it. Yes, go for it if it's a good plan and you really feel you want that extra protection. I myself personally, I'm not a good fit for those, but perhaps you are. If so, just do your homework, negotiate the price because the first price, even on a product, is rarely the best price. Many times we've seen consumers buy a warranty or service agreement for 60% of the quoted cost. 40% off is a nice discount and you get it by negotiating for it. Dealer financing income per vehicle can take a hit on digital platforms because buyers can more easily shop interest rates online, said Scott Smith, CEO of Smith Automotive Group, which operates four Nissan stores in Metro Atlanta. 
Even so, the convenience of digital platforms creates an opportunity for dealerships to sell more service contracts and maintenance packages if they can effectively convey the value proposition and product benefits, Smith said. Now there's a confession of sorts. Did you catch what he said about people being able to shop interest rates online being a reason finance income is lower? Mm -hmm. Without a doubt, a part of that finance income is made by fattening up the interest rate quoted by the bank to the dealer on your car loan. It's otherwise known as the buy rate, the original interest rate from the bank that is, and then the dealer gives you a fatter version of that interest rate. Nissan says they are listening and responding to dealer concerns. Nissan at Home allows dealers to educate customers via online videos about the F&I products they offer. Company spokesperson Brian Brockman said, he added, going forward, we will enable customers to self-select videos on F&I products that interest them the most, allowing our dealers to deliver a well-informed experience. Slade said Nissan is working on creating a robust digital F&I menu on the site. Online shoppers will be walked through a presentation on F&I products to help them better understand the value and potential benefits, Slade said. Well, friends, the good news is that soon enough you won't have to deal with high-pressure finance offices much longer. You'll be able to avoid dealer hassles because, as we've been saying in recent shows, we are just days away from launching our first Homework Eye-assisted, hassle-free new car buying process. And it is most likely to start with Toyota and in the state of Florida. On the other side of the country, California is also likely an early state to go live too. We're super excited to be able to share this exciting news with you today. If you jumped on our notification wait list, don't be surprised when I call you and say, Hello my friend, this is the Homework Guy. We are now ready to help you buy a car. By the way, if you're new here to the Homework Guy channel, the hassle-free new car buying process Liz just mentioned, it's not too late to get on the list. Find the link in the description box down below or visit our website, thehomeworkguy.com, to find it. As always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. And give this video a like if you appreciate what we do here for you. Right here, courtesy of the Homework Guy team in our show, is where you'll always find the most dependable tips and helpful information to assist you with finding an enjoyable car buying experience in today's market. And we so appreciate the trust and confidence that thousands of you have shown us by getting on the notification list for our new hassle-free car buyers list. It's going to be awesome when it launches and that day is just around the corner. Find the link just below the video and also on our website, thehomeworkguy.com. By the way, if you're new here, we invite you to join our ginormous YouTube family. If you've just recently joined as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back, and to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business, and always will. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.